YouTube, I'm back. Just wanted to do a little update. Um, I've been running the car like back to back to back with some tanks since I did the head shimming. And I remember the last time we did the video, I told you guys that we were at 0.5, or no, yeah, 0.5 millimeters. Well, I added a 0.15 shim to the stack, and now we're at 0.65. And it came down on power a little bit on the bottom, but the top end really benefited from it, and the temperatures are, like, drastically different. I mean, this thing doesn't even really get hot anymore, and I'm just ripping it. Um, the idle is more consistent uh, from the standpoint of coming off the throttle when it clears out all the way, when you hold it wide open for a while down a straightaway. Um, just a little sacrifice in performance, but way better drivability and temperature control. So I just wanted to do an update on that. So, you know, I guess if you're tuning in your stuff, and I told you that window was about from 0.4 millimeters to 0.6 millimeters, we're in that window, we're on the other side of it, but uh, like I said, you could go up or down from a certain point and then you'll know where to at least start at. So adding a 0.15 shim to 30% nitro fuel, so we're at 0.65 millimeters, uh, really helped over the long run. If we were doing short races, like five minute qualifiers or something like that, yeah, I would probably run the shorter stack. But I'm running this thing through the full tank, and it's, you know, 10 to 12 minutes. So I was noticing with the other setup, it would start to get hot towards the end of a run, um, kind of go flat a little bit, you know, when it got hot because of the, you know, fuel vaporing and, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, big, big, big time for the uh, long run. So this is this little stuff that I do um, and take notes, you know. You know, if you're doing hour mains, this would probably be good setup. If you're doing indoor qualifiers and doing five-minute qualifiers, you know, the other way might be better because it was a lot, lot more crispy on the bottom. Top end wasn't as good as it is now. It was still good, but with a little bit more um, shim in there and a little less compression, the top end really came to life. I mean, this thing just sings really good. All right, guys. Just wanted to do a little update, kind of show you what we're working with over here. Alright, later.